Um, for for black hair, I, I I created content for six months, and and I wanted to have a very organic process. I didn't have a shot list like that I was after, so that's why I, I was su super excited for like the the open call to see what I uh, see what I would get, and and then we later planned uh, a, a, you know a shoot with models that we did after futuristic looks, but. Um, in that six months, people would ask me, they were excited about black hair, and they wanted to know what the show looked like as it was developing. I'm like, I, I want to know what it looks like, too, because I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, right now, I am creating content. But I had an idea of what the show would not look like, and it wouldn't be like a bunch of just close-ups of hair. Cause it, I, it's like, I, I, I don't know how that tells the story, right? Um, so fast forward to where I'm actually on the shoot, uh, on the set working with you, and I'm I'm trying a bunch of different things, different angles and everything, and, and again you're having fun throwing your hair. But before we went to, before we left the set to go in the great hall, I'm like, turn around, let me see what that looks like, right? And that was one of those was unbreakable. And when I later looked at it. Um, and then looking for the, the, the elements of a good photograph, like, does, is it, does it tell a story? And what's the story? Is the story interesting? Like, what's the context? What's going on? And with this, you know, and, I, and you know, during the exhibit, the exhibit was up for a month, I, I got so many um, responses, reactions from other people with this photo. It was, it was just, like, super beautiful. And the comments were like, um, I love the textures of the hair. I love the the variety of textures of the hair. I love the color of the hair. Um, but then I'd ask like, well, who is she? What's, where's she going? What's going on? And that, again, this whole range of answers of who she is and where she's going. And, and they're, but they were always centered on strength, right? It's a, it's a strong, she's, she's, she's uh, determined. She's, she's going somewhere to do something positive. She's going somewhere to take care of something. There was never any wishy-washy retreat. Like none of those words ever came into it. And then somebody surprised me because I, I think most people say that you're going that way, right? And then one one person goes, "Well, the shoulders are turned, so I, maybe she's come, coming back. Like she's not done yet. She's coming back to take care of business some more." So that that so it meant so without it's it's a portrait without a face, and without that, it's still it's still a, a, just a very powerful story in, on, onto itself and it stands alone so it's it's, it's beautiful it's oh, just beautiful oh, I am so I when I when I saw it and then I saw the name I was like it could only be God because that is me okay that is me unbreakable it's, no matter what the circumstances are no matter what the conditions are I am gonna keep going to the side but moving forward and it's exactly and of course looking at my hair from the back which is something you don't really see um, I was I even admired the texture of it because I don't you know you don't see your own hair from the back and I got a chance to really take a deep dive and look and I thank you so much for capturing my inner being where I am today and where I'm going in the future. So when I looked at the entire exhibit, the futuristic part, and I said, wow, he is such an amazing artist that he sees us where we are today and what we are, where we're going in our journey. And right. I said, this exhibit is just super amazing. I, I don't even have enough words that could express what you've done and I and I probably can speak for all of the models especially the ones who weren't professional right who was just here you know sharing their what they consider their inner beauty with the DC train station <laughs> <laughs> you know with union, with, with union station and just being free to be themselves and not be constrained and have a beautiful energetic brilliant photographer oh my goodness. just letting loose and, and telling us to just go you know you don't get that and no one gets that walking through you know Union Station <laughs> and you know that white glove treatment right 
Oh hey, my! Thank you so much. Oh, oh, thank you. That yes. was that was so beautiful. Like, and kind. then to come back with the concepts and the names and of all the pieces, I'm like, whoa. I I, I work I work hard on that. Yeah. And I count, and like for me, an image isn't complete if I can't title it. You know, and that's it. It is God. I have so many examples of how things in this project came together, like ordered ordered by God. Mm -hmm that I can't, I can't, and then here's just another one. It just yeah. goes on and on and on, because it's, it's, um, and literally, and literally I, 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 I went with the process. I went with what, how I felt, not what I thought, how I felt, and just let it go. This is just, just over the top. Way, way, way over, way over the top. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you, Crazy. and thank you for having a show in a beautiful warm place that I could visit. Because if you would have went somewhere cold, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> I may not have made it. Yeah. So you say Florida? Oh yes! Yeah. Wow, wow. That, this is this is just uh, yeah, it's. Uh,